Hi, welcome to the College of DuPage Surgical Technology Advising Session. This presentation will help answer any questions you may have about the program. My name is Anna Campbell. I am the Surgical Technology Program Chair. I've been teaching in the surgical programs at COD since 2015 and have worked in the OR as a surgical technologist and assistant for over 25 years. I absolutely love the operating room and couldn't be happier teaching new members of the team. If you have any questions about the programs or the profession, please feel free to reach out at any time. Email is the best way to reach me. I check emails multiple times throughout the day and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Let's start by taking a quick look at our pathway for the surgical services programs. The ORPCT, CSPD, and ethics course are prerequisites for the surgical technology program. The ORPCT and CSPD courses each have their own advising sessions that can be found on each program's webpage. The surgical technology program is an associate's degree and is a prerequisite for the surgical assisting program. The COD surgical assisting program is a one-year certificate program. Working in the operating room requires many essential functions. These are physical, mental, and emotional characteristics that are required for employment in the operating room. Only you can decide if this career is right for you. Please take a minute to check the full list of essential functions found in the Surgical Technology Program Admissions Packet on the Surge Tech webpage. Look through carefully, then evaluate your own characteristics. It is better to recognize if a program is a right fit before committing to the time and money involved in your education. So what is a surgical technologist? Surgical technologists are experts in sterile technique. They work under the supervision of a surgeon to facilitate a safe and effective surgical procedure by setting up the necessary supplies and passing instrumentation to the surgeon during the surgical procedure. The operating room is a fascinating, exciting environment. Certified surge techs, known as CSTs, can work in operating rooms located in hospitals, surgery centers, and even physician offices. CSTs in Illinois make approximately $20 to $25 an hour, depending on the area you work. There is a great deal of opportunity to make even more money with shift differentials and call pay. Our program is accredited by the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs, otherwise known as CAHEP. This accreditation is highly regarded and requires setting high standards for our students. CAHEP accreditation allows you to sit for the National Board of Surgical Technology and Surgical Assisting, or NBSTSA, Certified Surgical Technology Exam. You must be a CST to work in the Chicagoland area, and only CSTs are allowed to join the AST, or Association of Surgical Technologists Professional Organization. We have a state-of-the-art lab at COD with two functioning operating rooms and thousands of instructional supplies. COD's Surge Tech program has been well known throughout the community as an outstanding program for the last 15 years. We have strong clinical relationships and create new excellent clinical partners every year that often lead to opportunities for employment for our students. And now my favorite part, our excellent experienced instructors, Candace Johnson, Jenny Serpa, Anna Marzullo, Anu Bukhar, and Umar Tamirzi, all instructors uh, have been working in the operating room and teaching surgical technology for years. They are kind, caring, and are focused on student success. The Surge Tech program is three consecutive semesters and starts in January each year. Courses consist of lecture, lab, and clinical rotations. Lecture takes place all year, spring, summer, and fall. Once a week, you will attend a mandatory in-class or virtual classroom lecture. 
Lab runs throughout the entire spring semester and includes all required skills for functioning in the operating room. It also includes performing mock surgeries such as an appendectomy, hernia repair, and breast biopsy. Lab is held on campus and usually meets Tuesdays and Thursdays for two hours each class. Clinical begins summer semester and runs through fall. The clinical site is selected for you, requests are not granted, and you must provide your own transportation to and from the institution. Please note you may have to travel up to an hour for your site. After successful completion of the program, on the last day of class, students will sit for the National Board of Surgical Technology and Surgical Assisting Certified Surgical Technology Exam. The exam is 175 questions with 150 questions scored. Each student must receive a score of 102 in order to pass. COD has excellent pass rates, well above the national average. In 2019, 92% of the class passed the exam on the first try, and 100% of the class passed after the second attempt. So how do you get into the Surge Tech program? Your first step is to follow the link seen here for access to the Surgical Tech Admissions Packet. You can also find it by searching surgical technology at cod.edu. The packet has all the links and information mentioned in the advising session. You must be a student at COD. You can easily apply at cod.edu for a $20 application fee. To ensure that all of your eligible credits are evaluated towards the admission requirements, you must turn in all official transcripts from institutions that you have attended. Submit your official transcripts to the Office of Student Records. If you have only attended COD, you do not need to request transcripts. Make sure you follow up and verify receipt of your transcripts and take a look at the admission packet for detailed instructions on how to do so. Complete the non-refundable $50 online Health Sciences Limited Enrollment Program application. Make sure you select the correct term. Once it is selected and the application submitted, you may not change the term or program. There are detailed instructions on how step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete this application found on that program uh, admissions packet. Complete the COD residency verification form. You also need to provide two proofs of residency with the form to the Office of Student Registration Services. And it has to be done before the program um, application deadline date. Again, refer to admission packet for instructions. It's important that this gets handed in on time. The surgical technology program may admit a maximum of 20% of out of district applicants who do not have a surge tech program in their district. Acceptance is still based on merit. Students coming from districts with a surge tech program would only be considered if there were open seats after all qualified candidates from in district and out of district without programs were accepted. You must complete all three prerequisite courses within five years of your surge tech application. Surge Tech 1000 or PCT 1001 and CSPD 1111 must be completed by the application deadline with a grade of C or better. All students are required to complete the Surgical Technology Degree Program. You must complete the general education courses in categories one through three. This includes communications, mathematics, and physical and life sciences. Your science requirement must include anatomy and physiology, 1500, 1551, or 1571, and be no more than five years old. Your application will receive points based on the grades you received in the required courses. Please see the next slide for the point rubric. For those of you who already have your associates, bachelor's, master's, or PhD, you will want to be sure your official transcripts are sent in as many of those courses will most likely apply to the AAS degree. 
general education courses seen here in categories four through six can be completed with a C or better during the fall semester after program acceptance. However, you will receive more points for each course completed before the application deadline. The Surgical Tech program now offers early admissions. Early admission into the Surge Tech program is only available to students who complete every single step one through eight that we discussed above. You will also have to have 30 or more points on the application rubric we will discuss on the next slide. If you feel you meet all of the early admission requirements, send an email to me at cambella86 at cod.edu to request an evaluation. Application evaluation request will begin in February. Students will be notified by email if accepted. The spot will be secured upon receiving the student's signed acceptance letter. Early admissions will only be offered until the class is full or the application deadline has passed. The admission rubric seen here is used to determine point totals for each applicant. This rubric can also be found in the admissions packet. Steps one through five do not have point values, but must be completed for the application to be considered. This includes the completed application with $50 fee and the residency verification. If one item is missing after the application due date, the applicant will not be considered for admission. Search Tech prerequisites ORPCT, CSPD, and Search Tech 1000 all must be completed by the end of summer. Points will be given for each grade. Points will also be given for each grade for every course completed in category one through three. If any course in category four through six are completed before the application deadline, those course grades will also be granted points per course. If you have applied to the program before, you will receive one point as a reapplicant. You can see here the totals max possible points are 41. That would be if you got an A in every one of the required courses. Um, minimum required score, you need a 20 in order to be considered um, for acceptance. Uh, and then minimum score for early admissions is 30. Well, that wraps up the Surgical Technology Advising session. I hope this presentation helped answer some of your questions. I love this profession and I am so excited to share it with you. Please do not hesitate to reach out with any questions. Take care and hope to see you soon.